Witches are very creative people and we love using all sorts of correspondences that connect with our magic and ways of making magic more fun, such as arts and crafts, working with candles, working with cords, working with symbols, working with paper petitions, and of course, color. And color is something that we love working with. And it's also a very, very powerful part of magic. So in this video, I wanted to talk about color and how you can use color in your magic. But before I do, hi, I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. If you're new to the channel and you want to learn Wicca and witchcraft, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. If you pick up a book on candle magic or working with crystals or working with cord magic, you'll come across color and various different correspondences associated with color. And there'll be lists of different things that belong to each particular color. And a lot of this comes from the planetary connections to color because the planets have connections as well to various different colors, as you'll find out in candle magic. But also it's to do with uh, the emotional connection to color too. And this is where you can get more creative with working with your color in color magic. So from a standard point of view, if you're looking at the primary colors of red and blue and yellow, they'll have uh, specific meanings in magic. So red is usually for passion and love and sexuality and courage and confidence and all of those very sort of Martian things in regards to courage and confidence, but also that that root chakra thing because associated with the color of the root chakra as well. So red has traditional associations. So because we use color as a correspondence to match what we are intending when we are doing our spell crafting, you might use a red candle if you're doing candle magic or a red cord if you're doing cord magic to bring in more courage or more confidence or to attract love, especially a more of a passionate love into your life. Or if you're wanting to rekindle passion in your relationship, you'd use a red candle. But think about red also in regards to how you personally relate to that color, because there's a personal element to magic too. So think about when you're looking at your color charts in the books on candle magic, Think about the color or have the color there in front of you and just write down in your journal what you feel about that color. How does that color make you feel? So what are your personal associations with that color? With yellow, for example, it's used a lot for the mental realm because it's associated with Mercury, the planet Mercury, and it is about communication, it's about study, but it's also got an attractive aspect to it. So it's a very attractive color. It's a bright color. It's a color of the sun and happiness and all of that too. So how does yellow make you feel? And then you've got uh, blue, which is often associated with peace and healing and the watery sort of colors. You've got different shades of blue as well. And the different depths of the color blue will have different sig significance and meaning. And all of these things you've got to kind of figure out when you're preparing your spells, especially if you're going to use color in your magic. When you're dealing with color, always think of the three primary colors. You've also got black and you've got white there. White tends to be associated with uh, purity and peace and healing as well. Black is associated more with protection. Uh, and banishing or anything that you're wanting to move away or if you're wanting to explore the depth of feeling particularly if it's something like grief uh, then black's a good color as well those five colors are really your base and when you're thinking about working with the other colors you can start to look at how these colors work together so orange, for example, is a combination of yellow and red. So when you look at the traditional meanings associated with orange, you get attraction, you get a bit of courage, you get success, you get these sorts of things with orange because it's a combination of red, which you've got your passion and your courage and your confidence side, and yellow, which is the attraction. So orange is like a combination of those two colors. And so think of orange as being a bit of both 
where you're wanting to bring in that attractive aspect to the color as well as the confidence of the red so you can blend the colors like an artist blends colors when they're doing a painting if you're working with a color uh, like purple where you've got blue and red then you're working with the softer aspects of blue and if you're working with a darker blue you may be working more with those jupiterian aspects of of expansion and you've also got the red which is the courage the confidence and the passion so if you're working with the color purple you can see the purple is often associated with power it can be also associated with spirituality particularly a lighter version of the purple so you're adding the white so the purity coming in with with the white and you can see how when you're adding the colors together how the meaning of the color changes and adapts according to how you're adding these colors together so this is a way of approaching color magic if you're wanting to to go beyond the basics of color which is the reference list of what they mean and just starting to understand a little bit about how they resonate and why they resonate as they do other colors like brown are very earthy colors now brown's of course got three of the primary colors in it so it's got quite it's resonating with some a bit of the confidence and the courage it's got the peacefulness of the blue and the healing aspects and it's also got that attractive aspect of the yellow as well so brown is often associated if you're doing any work on wanting to find a home or to heal uh, any sort of um, anything which is to do with something that's closer to nature like working with healing animals or anything like that think of brown as that sort of a combination of all of those three primary colors so you're, you're dealing with a color that's very much a bigger power than you think it would be it has that confidence it has the attractive element of it and it also has that uh, peaceful and expansive aspect of the blue in there too so think of the different ways you can use brown candles they're not a common color brown isn't common in candle magic you don't see it very often but maybe in the comments field below you can write down how you think you could use that brown color in your magic what's another color that i haven't gone through yet green green is an awesome color it of course is blue and yellow so it has that peaceful expansive aspect of blue plus the attraction mental aspect of yellow and when these two are together you're working with a combination that is very healing because you've got the healing aspect of blue and you've got the attraction element of yellow and the focus of yellow so the healing can be very very focused when you're working with green as a healing color green is also the color of the heart chakra and it's also associated with the planet venus so you've got a lot of love energy coming in through there from the planetary aspect as well so green is a beautiful color to work with and there's some of the qualities of green if you go into different books you'll find that there may be even different meanings according to the book you're reading as well because these colors can mean so many different things i mean i've only given you a handful of the associations of the colors because you can find these in books i've certainly got color references in the mystery witch school 101 course with the candle magic module where i basically outline some of the basics of colors but this is really just to add a little bit more of depth to your work and to get you thinking more about color rather than just taking it from the color lists how can you work with color and work with the combining of color in order to help you with your work if you're an artist and you work with combining color yourself to do magic so maybe you use your artwork to do talismans then you can do have a lot of fun with how much of a certain color you add to get a certain secondary color out of a combination of those colors and how that's going to tweak your magic in a particular way so that it has a an outcome that's more focused on the nuances of how you want your magic to work out
it's an advanced thing. Uh, it's more than a beginner's thing, but it's just something to get you thinking about color and going beyond uh, what's in the basics. And if you do want to study the basics, I do have the Mystery Witch School 101 course. It is a 12 month course that will help you connect to yourself, to your spiritual self, to nature and to the divine through the practice of Wicca, where you will learn how to do just that in the Sabbaths, in the lunar rites, in your magic and in your daily Wiccan practice as well, learning how to work with your energy and just practicing the craft as opposed to just reading about it and trying to figure out where do I start and what do I do because there's just so much information out there. It's just too overwhelming. And now's the perfect time to really get stuck into your practice of your spirituality because we are definitely in changing transitional times and their spirituality is really what's going to help us move through a lot of turbulence that we've been through this year and also will be continuing to go through no doubt into 2021 and um, beyond so the link to that will be in the description field below this video if you like the video hit the like button share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe i'm sandra from mysterywitchschool.com blessed be mm -hmm.